like, I started raising that. Because I just felt like I hit a What damage would your body do? The driver of the car that Nick was in, he was also in the emergency department being checked out. I remember standing at the foot of his bed. I remember thinking to myself, why wasn't it you? Why did death kill my kid? What damage will your driving do? We saw the incident there, didn't take much to send you right back to that day. I remember in the, in the weeks and the months after Nick died, thinking, I don't want to be here. I don't want to live with this pain. But someone is always there every birthday every Christmas, and that was always that person missing. What damage will your driver do? The things that uh, stay with me are uh, the sound on the night. It was an eerie silence, but uh, there was people screaming. I see uh, one person in track. I just wanted to save his life. He didn't want him to die. I didn't want him to die. What damage will your driving do? I gotta think about that. Today uh, we are launching a new road safety campaign. Thank you. Um, as I was saying, today we're launching a, a new road safety campaign uh, based on uh, what damage will your driving do. Now this campaign uh, is something that's been pulled together uh, over a significant period of time and takes uh, people through the journey of those people who have been impacted by a life lost uh, on our roads. In 2009, uh, Nick Holbrooks, an 18 year old young man, uh, was a passenger in a vehicle driven by his best mate who died on Westlakes Boulevard uh, because of the driving behaviour uh, of his best mate. Uh, what this uh, incident shows us is that there are some types of driving behaviour, some dangerous driving types of behaviour, which um, have lasting impacts. And this is a message we've spoken about time and time again. And this campaign, though, uh, really highlights um, what that looks like for families, what that looks like for drivers, and particularly when they're a mate or a relative of the person who's died, and also what that looks like for our emergency services workers who have to attend these scenes and try and save the lives of people um, who have been seriously injured uh, in these crashes, or in fact deal with people who have died as a result of these crashes. This campaign goes through a series of um, testimonials uh, from the people involved, from Philip, who was the driver on the night, um, who he himself has basically got a life sentence of guilt and remorse around the fact that he was responsible for ending his best mate's life. We also hear from Nick's parents as well, um, heartbreaking testimonials about the, I guess, the, the life of imprisonment and with the loss of their son. You know, this is not just about people going to jail. This is not just about um, penalties uh, put through the courts. This is about the lifelong penalties that families and others um, have as a result of um, people being killed or, being di or dying on our roads. So today we're asking you as part of this campaign, how will your driving impact others? How will your driving impact on your family? How will it impact on your mates? And how will it impact on the broader community? There are thousands of South Australians uh, right now who are dealing with these issues, dealing with the remorse, the loss and the guilt every day as a result of lives lost on our roads. And this campaign, we hope, will be a very strong message, a very powerful message 
from the people who have actually been affected by something like this, by Nick's death as a result of some poor driving on the road. And we're hoping that this message starts conversations with families, particularly with parents with your kids, but also mates, particularly uh, males who are well overrepresented in our lives lost at the moment. If, if this doesn't make you sit back and think um, about the impacts your driving can have on yourself, on your mates, on your family and others, then nothing will. It is a very powerful campaign. Um, I'd like to thank um, the Holbrook family from being involved in this. I'd like to thank Philip from being involved in this, the offending driver. And I'd also like to thank our emergency services uh, in being brave enough and having the courage to come forward to provide this really powerful story uh, which we hope uh, will help to save lives on our roads. Uh, Minister. Thanks, AC. Well, it really doesn't get any more uh, real than this. These are real people uh, with real stories and real trauma. Uh, as you've seen, uh, this campaign shows the psychological and the emotional scars that road trauma has caused. It shows the emotional and psychological scars that road trauma has caused on a best mate who, who effectively killed his mate in a car, uh, from the parents that unfortunately got that knock on the door uh, to, uh, to, to be told that their son has died in a crash, and then of course our first responders that have to go out and see these traumatic uh, scenes far too often. I mean, this is, this is real stuff. It doesn't get any more real than this. It shows how road trauma is long lasting uh, and it has a, a great um, psychological and emotional effects, not only uh, on the victim's families, but also uh, their friends, and of course, also our first responders that have to attend to some of these scenes. Uh, this campaign launches uh, this week. Uh, South Australia Police, uh, the Media Road Safety Unit have done an excellent job. And I also want to thank the Holbrook family uh, for being uh, involved uh, in this, despite the tragedy that they've had to unfortunately uh, go through. Uh, we see how psychological and emotional trauma like this has uh, a long lasting impact uh, on those that are affected uh, and involved in this kind of uh, tragic set of circumstances. What we hope that this campaign will do is cause people to reflect, uh, to look at uh, how these unfortunate things can happen if you do the wrong thing on our roads. If you take your eye off uh, the wheel for just a split second, uh, if you speed, if you don't wear a seatbelt, if you're driving dangerously, uh, there can be lifelong tragic events. Uh, and that's what this campaign does. It gets people, it's hard hitting, it's emotional. Uh, and what this campaign does is it gets people to um, see how there is a, a, there's a real life impact here. These are, these are real people uh, with real stories and real trauma. Uh, this of course also coincides uh, with the state government's road safety uh, strategy to 2031 with ambitious targets to make sure that we reduce the numbers of lives lost on our roads and also to reduce uh, serious injuries on our roads as well. We encourage people to have their say uh, in that strategy as well. But I can't emphasise enough. These are real people. This is real trauma. Uh, real lives have been lost uh, and a sentence is being served by all related parties here for a lifelong. Uh, it's, it's a real wake up call uh, for people to do the right thing on our roads. Uh, we've lost 61 lives on our roads this year compared to uh, 56 at the same time last year. You know, enough is enough. Uh, it's up to each and every one of us to, to play our part. And what this shows, what this campaign shows, is the, uh, uh, the emotional and the psychological trauma uh, that road tragedies cause. Uh, you see it through a best friend who effectively has caused his best mate to die. You see it through parents who have been notified that their son has died uh, in a serious car crash collision and then of course our first responders who have to uh, pick up the pieces and go out to some of our most uh, traumatic and tragic sets of circumstances. So uh, I want to thank South Australia Police for uh, putting this uh, campaign together uh, and we do hope that it will be hard hitting. Uh, it is confronting. We make no apologies about that uh, because every life lost on our roads is absolutely tragic but it's also preventable and avoidable and that's what we've got to do. We've got to prevent uh, serious injuries and lives lost on our roads. Is, is Dagger the least of the uh, will have a greater impact on the public as well? 
the state of release. So that could also be an opportunity really to build one, so you can be really gradually thinking about the amount of greater impact that it has. Yeah, absolutely, because there's certainly a story that's been told uh, in this campaign, so you're absolutely right. So what you see here is that these are real people uh, with real stories and they've got real trauma. Uh, the, the mate who's, who effectively killed his best mate in that uh, collision, he's got to live with that for the rest of his life. The uh, police first responders who do an amazing job, they've got to live uh, with those sickening memories for the rest of their lives. The parents that have lost uh, a son uh, through a road crash, they've got to live with that sentence for the rest of their life. And it's very unfair as well. So uh, yes, this staged approach will certainly go a long way to showing, if you like, the different perspectives, uh, showing road trauma through different sets of eyes, uh, through a best mate who's caused another friend to, to pass away, uh, from parents who have seen their, their son uh, being killed in a, in a road accident and of course a first responder that's had to go out there uh, to see uh, one of the most uh, tragic and of course traumatic scenes in a road crash. It comes back to everyone's got a responsibility when they uh, get in a vehicle to do the right thing on our roads. Uh, every life lost is an absolute tragedy, but it's also preventable and it's also avoidable. Uh, whether it's uh, campaigns, whether it's uh, a, a continued focus on new laws, uh, whether it's on better infrastructure, as a government will continue to work with DIT, continue to work with South Australia Police in that multifaceted approach. But at the end of the day, people have got to take responsibility. And what you see here is that these were two young guys uh, going for uh, a joyride, they were doing the wrong thing, and unfortunately uh, it, it uh, ended in devastation. Um, the new 10 year road safety strategy you guys are embarking on, I mean, how many South Australians are actually taking that up and, and how do you look at that? So it's out to consultation as we speak, and the consultation's open to September, so I do encourage people to have their say. Uh, we've got very ambitious targets on that. We want to reduce lives lost on our roads by 50% and also serious injuries uh, by 30%. So I'd encourage people to have their, stay, their say. Please do provide your feedback. Uh, it's really important uh, that we have ambitious targets but that we also encourage people to get involved and have their say. Uh, this strategy has been developed through input right across the state and not only in the city but also in the country. Of course we know in recent times that over 60% of fatalities in recent times have actually occurred in our country areas. So we encourage people to get involved. Um, you can have all the strategies and campaigns in, in the world though. We're encouraging people to really observe this campaign, watch the trauma that it causes uh, from when someone loses their life. Uh, please learn from it. Make sure you learn from the experience of, of these people. Make sure that you don't go through uh, these, these trauma, traumatic uh, instances yourself. So the consultation is open as we speak, so it's, it's live consultation, uh, it's, it's available, so uh, when, when that consultation ends in September, I'll, we'll be able to have those results. But uh, it's out there, uh, I'd encourage people to have their say on the Your Say website, it's freely uh, open and available, uh, and there's been a lot of work that's gone into it, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing a, a whole uh, range of views that are put forward on that. When you look at the long-term trend, uh, when you look at uh, 10 years, 20 years and, and, uh, from those sort of numbers, uh, we are trending down in terms of lives lost on our, our roads. Uh, but I think it's important to have ambitious targets. You can't settle uh, with this, uh, this proposition that inevitably there are going to be lives lost on our roads. I think we can be doing better than that in this state. I think we should be aiming. Uh, eventually for no lives lost on our roads uh, and I think it's important to set ambitious targets. That's why we spend millions of dollars in campaigns, while we work with South Australia Police and DIT, uh, while we invest in better roads, while we also create better deterrence uh, through our legislation processes as well. So I think it's important to be ambitious uh, because we know that every life lost on our roads is a tragedy, it's, uh, it's avoidable, but as we've seen here through this campaign, it causes long-lasting trauma. Yeah, so the campaign uh, will involve a, a staged approach uh, in terms of the campaign, uh, putting it together uh, and also production uh, came at a cost of uh, just over $600,000. It's money well spent. 
If it saves lives on our roads, it's money well spent, and I think there'll be 13 different segments that will be uh, rolled out. Obviously, it's a, uh, I believe it's a matter before the court, but look, just absolutely alleged shocking behaviour from young people. They really should not be involved uh, in these, uh, these circumstances. They shouldn't be doing these things. It's not good enough, and it's got to stop. Yeah, look, there are a range of factors as to as to why we're losing so many lives on our roads each year, uh, not just this year. Um, when we compare um, this year to last year, we actually had a, you know, it's, it's actually an oxymoron that you say you have a good year when you've lost any lives. Um, but comparatively speaking, um, the, the lives lost last year, 93, was lower than um, some of the previous years. But that again is no excuse and it's not a measure that we're comfortable with or not going to sit on our laurels with because any life lost is, is too many. What we have seen this year is um, a high occurrence of motorcyclists being involved in uh, the lives lost. Uh, in a range of those cases, um, speed um, is a factor in relation to the motorcyclists who've lost their lives. Uh, concerningly also, um, the age group from 50 to 69 uh, is overrepresented this year in comparison to previous years in terms of the number of people who've lost their lives on our roads. Um, and, you know, th there are a range of different causes for that. Distraction uh, is the main one that continues to be the primary contributing factor uh, amongst the lives lost. But, again, concerningly, regional roads... Uh, regional roads uh, is, is actually picked up in the, in the national and state road safety strategies because it is a, it is a significant issue. Now, approximately 70% of lives lost on our roads every year are in the regions, and these are people who live in the regions. You know, there's, some, there's some fairly alarming statistics that um, people who die on regional roads live within 20 kilometres of, of their house. You know, so this is not city people not knowing how to drive on country roads. This is, you know, this is country people close to home dying on their roads. And the other concerning thing is, is that in... In Nick's story and, and in Philip's story in this regard, you know, there's dangerous driving involved in this. This is a clear reason as to why Nick lost his life. Um, when you see the testimonials, when you see this story roll out, it, it's almost like being there in terms of you hear from Philip, the driver, then you hear about um, the, the parents being in hospital, then you hear about the police having to tell the parents that Nick has lost his life, he's died. Um, and then you hear from other emergency responders about the sounds at the scene, the screams, you know, the things that stay with our people um, every single day. And this is 12 years ago, this crash. And all of these people are still suffering. And you can understand why. And I, and I want to reiterate, these are not actors, right? This is not a campaign where we've gone and got actors out to, you know, to put a road safety message out. This is the Holbrook family, right, who's been, who's been impacted by this tragedy. So if... if Listening to Philip and doesn't make you as a mate think about your driving and think about how your mates drive when you're in their car. If this campaign as a parent doesn't make you get up and hug your kids and have a conversation with them about the dangers of, of driving and, and the impact of losing a life, then I'll be surprised. It is that powerful that this message that we're trying to get home to people is that we can talk numbers as much as we like, but when you hear the stories of these people involved 12 years on living that sentence on a daily basis through birthdays, through Christmases and those types of things, like I said, if that doesn't change people's attitudes, then you know, I'm surprised at what will. And this is why we're trying to continue to push this thing. So um, are the targets ambitious for our road safety strategy? Absolutely they are. And they're there for a good reason, because we don't want the next family to be the Holbrook family going through the pain that they're suffering on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't want people to, to lose family members. So and that's why it's important for us to make it real for people. Um, and I think, you know, I spoke briefly before about, in Philip's case and in, and in Nick's death, there was a, some dangerous driving that occurred. Um, but there are so many crashes as well that happen by a fleeting moment of distraction or lack of concentration 
that we all experience when we're driving almost every day or certainly in every week. It really is about focusing on the task at hand, focusing at driving, because even the smallest mistake can end up with tragic consequences. Uh, every week's a horrendous week when I get notified that another person has lost their life on our roads, to be perfectly honest. Um, but again, when you, um, you know, for, the, for the family that's impacted by you know, the crash on the Augusta Highway, um, this journey is just starting for them, you know, in terms of the impacts that they're going to feel for the rest of their lives. Um, that, that's the message we want to get across to people. You know, when you're driving your car, just drive, you know, because it's, the consequences will stay with you forever. Just maybe looking at the clip, and just looking at the clip. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I was like, 